And I used to believe into that new age spirituality stuff, like in between, like I had a transition, you know, more red pilled and then more a spiritual guy. I really, really believed in it. You know, I, I got into tarot reading and human design and, and astrology and all that stuff. But it always felt a little bit strange. And then I found Christianity, again, um, David's being the initial input giver here. And, you know, I just dig deeper into Christianity. First of all, it really, really resonated with me. And I'm not saying that my conversion was like easy. I had my doubts, you know, I had to dig deeper. I had to open my heart to God and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, it really resonated with me. And also because I see the truth in it, you know, I've been into that space, you know, relationship and and all that stuff and dating and evolutionary psychology. And there is a lot of, you know, what is it in English? A lot of similarities when it comes to, to Christianity. And it really teaches you everything you need. And, you know, like people saying, okay, I don't believe in Christianity or religion at all. Da, 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 da. It's okay, but just be receptive for it. Just, just look into it, you know, just start studying it. You know, I'm I'm not very far into religion, but I do follow some people that I have trust who I do believe that they know why they converted. For example, I like to bring up Will Spencer, uh, Renaissance of Men. He studied like religion and spirituality like 20 to 30 years. And he's saying, okay, Christianity is the right thing. And, you know, I put my trust into people like that. That doesn't mean that I don't study it myself. But I'm still at the very beginning. Again, I just converted six to eight months ago. But as I said at, at the beginning, I'm a guy who follows his intuition. And my intuition led me to Christianity. Yeah, it's a really thing. It's a really, first of all, it's great to hear. But it's a really interesting thing to observe happening. Uh, I just, just as someone who's, you know, you know I, I kind of grew up Christian, there was a time where. I probably, you know, my actions probably weren't aligning with who I said, you know, I was saying I was a Christian, my actions probably weren't aligning with it. But then I've kind of come back to faith and witnessing a lot of people stumble across and really resonate with Christianity is, is not only great to see, but it's also just interesting to kind of work out like why this is and why people are getting drawn back into it. And so you, for, for your rationale, you would say that it's because it, it really resonated with you, with you, like what what Jesus spoke on about morale on certain moral issues and how you should conduct yourself as a man and a woman and all these things. Are you saying that's what what kind of spoke to you and, and you kind of went, well, this is confirming all of these like truths that I've been sort of discovering on my own path. And then here are all the answers in the Bible, because that's certainly a big reason why i would defend christianity as being an incredible thing is is you know like people can say oh well god's a bit of a fairy tale thing and it doesn't really sound very realistic in the modern world and i'm like well the fact that it all pieces together so perfectly across this span of time with all these different authors inspired by god and it all kind of pieces together is it's just so coherent i'm like that's that's just incredible like i i can't comprehend but it all makes sense on a level which is very hard to articulate, um, and I and I just I just think that is is part of that understanding yourself as a man, and as you say, that journey that people are going on as you've gone on, where you realise that there's a reason why you have that intuition. There's a real there's a there's a reason why all these things make sense, and it's all pieced together. And you go to the source rather than any human uh, w wisdom, which is always kind of flawed to pride or to you know ego and i think it's a it's a fantastic place to start for for people um what advice would you give to to young men who are coming across maybe they've listened, listened to this podcast maybe they're trying to establish their identity work out who they are um what what are some of the practical steps they can take other than following you of course <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much so the, the number one advice i always give which is also an advice that i follow ever since my self-development journey and also the advice that has brought me where i am also following christianity and all that stuff it is looking for this confirming evidence it's also the reason why i'm detached myself from the red pill because i looked for this confirming evidence if you believe something and you look for ways to confirm it you will stay in your bubble forever 
but you have to look for things that disagree or disconfirm your sets of beliefs. The best example, if we're talking about the red pill, all women cheat. Do they? Look for disconfirming evidence. Look for things that tell you that you're wrong. And because when, when you're looking for confirming evidence, you're not doing real research. You're just adding, you know, you're just confirming your own world for you. You're just staying at the same place forever. Oh, it's true. I said it's true. Nothing is changing. Only when you start looking for disconfirming evidence, things can actually change.